everyone, my name is Togazane. Today I'm going to take you through the training of the classroom library. I'm so excited to introduce this resource to you because I think it is so beneficial for the classroom. Are you ready? Let's get started. We have six main components in our classroom library. The first one being the book box. The book box being the first component contains all the different book titles that you need for the library. The book titles are graded and they are in three different levels. Level one, which is easy, level two, which is middle, and level three, which is challenging. The grade one book collection has 20 titles. In the 20 titles, you will receive five copies per title. This is what it looks like. You will receive five copies of each title and they will be divided inside the box by a white divider. The white divider is in place to separate each title from one another, as well as differentiating it according to the three different levels. The three different levels are easy, medium, and challenging. They are also differentiated by color, so this will help you organize your classroom library box. The grade two book collection is double the size of grade one. We know that by grade two, they will have gotten into the swing of things and start reading a lot more than they did in grade one. In grade two, the box has 40 different titles and still five copies per title. This will also give your learners the opportunity to take out more books and read even more than they did in grade one. The color coordinating of the easy, medium and challenging book levels is to help our learners find their way through the box and find the books that are just right for them. The grade three book collection also has 40 titles. The 40 titles also come with five different copies per title and it still has the, the white dividers to differentiate the different titles and the different levels according to easy, medium and challenging. The second component is the book management chart. The book management chart is also leveled according to the same three levels, being easy, middle, and challenging. At the top section of the book management chart, there is a space for you to write in all your learners' names. This component is very important because it helps you track the books that are in your classroom library. The third component is the book display poster. This is an amazing resource because it has all the different covers of all the different books on it. The most important thing about this resource is that it should be put on the wall or displayed on a section where it is at the eye level of the children so that they're able to see all the titles and the covers. The fourth component is the five finger rule. This is a reading guide to help you decide which level book your learners should be reading. The fifth component is the book bag and the reading card. These components work together because you end up putting the reading card inside the book bag with the book. The book bag is very important because teachers are often worried about books getting lost or being damaged. This resource helps you keep the books safe from damage. It's also great because the book and the reading card fit in here perfectly. The reading card is very important because it has all the different titles of the books on it and it is also separated according to the different levels. The sixth and final component are the stickers. We will give you four boxes of stickers that are also color coordinated according to the different levels, according to easy, middle and challenging. We've included two additional resources for you. The first one is a letter to the parents. This will help them understand what the classroom library is and how it's going to work at your school. The second resource is a starter kit manual. The starter kit manual is for you to use when you need more information about the classroom library. 